Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella, a second year medical student. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how I revised for my A-levels, which are biology, chemistry, and math. First part of this video is going to be biology and chemistry, and the second part is math, because the revision method is a bit different. So if you're starting sixth form in September and are excited but also a bit worried on how to revise and just how to get a head start in A-levels, then I'd really recommend this video for you. These revision methods helped me so much in getting three A-stars. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to split this video into three sections. First one is going to be just how I revise throughout the year, so after lessons, etc. Second section is going to be how I revise closer to exam periods, so mocks or end of years. And third section is going to be all the resources that I use to study. So let's get started with the first section. How did I revise throughout the year? So for biology and chemistry, I mainly use the textbook, but for chemistry, I also use ChemRevise, which I'm going to brush up on in the third section. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. When I come back home from a lesson or just a seminar or whatever, I would come back home, I would open the textbook and I start making notes. I use Notion, but you can use whatever you'd like. I would then open the textbook and take notes from the textbook, basically. And first I would like try and read the lesson, make sure that I understand the concepts. And then I would read it again, but take notes slash highlight. And just make sure that you're not copying down the information like word by word from the textbook. Textbook usually tends to waffle or kind of say things that you don't really need to know. So just understanding that you need to take notes of the key points and the key information only will help so much in making your notes concise and efficient. After taking notes down for the lesson, I would usually just take a few minutes to tr make sure that I understand the concept and what the lesson basically entails. So this would involve just me explaining it out loud to myself or simply like drawing some diagrams or mind maps but usually that would that would be delayed to um, studying for exams but just making sure that I understand the lesson a bit and I'm not just writing down without understanding this helps so much when you're reviewing these notes later on you already have a basic understanding so when you're reviewing it doesn't take that much effort and you don't feel like you're too lost when you're looking at the notes because you've already done that first understanding of the lesson so I'd really recommend that once you finish writing your notes to just try and understand the basic concept for any certain keywords or things in the textbook or things in your notes that you feel like are going to be hard to memorize then I would usually make some quizlet decks on the side so things like certain keywords with definitions I would make quizlet decks or certain reactions and equations in chemistry um, I would just make decks for these as well and you can use whatever, whatever you want at the time I thought Quizlet was the most efficient for me I didn't want to really get into Anki because I felt like it was too much work but now that I'm in medicine I'm using Anki every day so for me now I feel like Anki is more efficient so whatever works best for you but these Quizlet decks helped so much when I was revising for exams later on because it helped so much in like memorizing this these tricky pieces of information these tricky pieces of information that are just basically you need to memorize them word by word now finally in terms of like actually studying throughout the year I would always try and make sure that I'm not falling behind guys it's so painful when you have an exam coming up in a few weeks or a few days and you realize that you haven't covered a certain lesson you haven't covered the, this topic and it's just so painful having to make the notes and just feeling like you're all over the place and you're not organized so I would say the most important thing throughout the year is just make sure that you're on track with your or like notes if you find that you're falling behind a bit just make sure you catch up on the next week or just have it written down so that you remember that you need to you know go over this lesson or make notes for this lesson and it's so important just having this general organization maybe having checkpoints every month or every fortnight where you just go over the lesson things like that would be quite helpful <laughs> Now for section two, how I revised during exam time or during the last final few weeks leading up to exams. So for exams, usually my process would be once like once I know that I finished making all the notes and I'm just preparing for the exams themselves, I would then start reviewing these notes and making sure that I understand them. So this is the second revision that I mentioned to you guys before. And basically this would entail the same thing as the first one, just explaining to myself, making diagrams or mind maps if I feel like something is hard to explain and just making sure that I really understand understand and comprehend the basic concept. So this revision is a bit more intense because you have an exam coming up so you have to make sure that you know the information exactly. And I would also start going through the quiz decks or Anki decks or flashcards that I made and making sure that I remember all this information. Something that I also sometimes did is rewriting my notes. And I know there's this huge amount of uh, people saying nowadays that you shouldn't rewrite the notes and it's just not efficient etc etc. And I do understand where this is coming from because yes rewriting notes is not that efficient but when you have time and when you feel like that's the way that works for you that's the way that's going to make me memorize things quicker then 
then I'd recommend just go for what makes you more comfortable. I would rewrite my notes sometimes, I felt like it was really helpful. And sometimes I would try and make summaries off my notes, so making like concise cheat sheets basically off my notes. Things like that really helped me in memorizing, so do whatever you feel comfortable with in memorizing. Now the most important thing that I would start doing closer to exam period as well is going through practice questions. I don't really usually do them throughout the year, except like the ones that the teachers give you as homework, etc. But closer to exam periods like mocks and end of years, I would start grinding exam questions like crazy. So I would usually just do topic questions and they were really helpful in pinpointing what topic you need to go and review again or what topic your information is a bit shaky on. So just starting to do these closer to exam period are so helpful and just keep doing them until your exams. Practice questions are going to show you how you should answer questions, what are your weak points, what are your strong points. And when doing practice questions, something that I would really recommend is to, when you're marking, not just like saying, okay, I got this question wrong and not looking at what you did wrong really focus on what you did wrong in the mark scheme like what point did you miss what how did you answer this question wrongly was there something that you could have added to the answer that could have given you an extra point so just looking at these things and understanding how the mark scheme works is really important something that I also started doing for my A levels for actual A level revision but I found them so helpful that I think if you start making it from year 12 it's going to be immensely helpful for you is to if you find that you're answering a certain question wrong a lot of times then make sure to write the mistake down like write the piece of information and it helped so much because after I did this throughout the period of revision like one to two weeks before the exam I would then turn all of these points into a deck so like a quizlet deck and I would go through them like a few days before the exam and it was so helpful because I kid you not I was sitting in my a-level paper and I was looking at a question and I li literally what made me answer the question is I thought in my mind I've answered a question similar to this before and I got it wrong that's why I remember. So I'd really recommend starting to compile this list from year 12 and it will be really beneficial for your AA levels later on and for year 13. Now, section three. So section three is about the, all the websites that I use that I found really helpful. Now I've mentioned Chemrevise before and let me just tell you a bit more about Chemrevise. Chemrevise is a website that has all chemistry notes that you need basically. I, to be honest, I literally rarely use the textbook. I don't think I've actually used a textbook except at the start of year 12 when I didn't know about Chemrevise. But Chemrevise is so helpful guys, it has all the information you need and the information is really concise and structured in such a nice way. You have boxes like at the side to tell you if the piece of information is important or not and it's just so well written. Now the second website that I would recommend, and this isn't really a website, but it's just the exam board specification. Specifications are so important, specifically when you're making notes. When you're making notes, so look, if you want to understand if a certain thing is like waffling or you don't need to know it, just look at the specification and see what it says. But it's really helpful just look at a specification when you're revising for the exams, etc. Just look at the specification to give you an idea of what is going to come up. It's literally this manual that's ready for you telling you what's going to come up in the exam. So make sure you make use of it. Third website is A-level chemistry. This website is mainly just A-level chemistry questions. So it's all just question papers by topic and then you have a lot of practice papers as well. So it's really useful for just practicing before exam period. Then we have physics and math tutor which I'm sure you guys all have heard of. It has a lot of practice questions and practice papers on a lot of different subjects like chemistry, maths, um, biology and a lot of others as well. So it's really useful and has been really helpful for the two years of my A-levels. Then you have the last two which are Study Mind and MMU Revise. I primarily use both of these for biology but I think Study Mind also does chemistry. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't actually remember. But both of them have been really helpful, specifically MMU Revise. It had topic questions for biology that were really helpful, like 30 page long topic questions. So it had a lot of variety of questions and really helped in understanding how the mark scheme works. So yeah, that's it guys for the video. This is the three sections that I wanted to talk about and that's basically just how I revised during my A-levels and just once again making sure that you're consistent and you're not really lagging behind is so important in just giving you this organized structure to the year and making it way easier for you to memorize. So yeah, try and stay consistent and that's it for the revision method. Now just before we end guys, I am planning to make a Q&A soon. So if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in that video, make sure to comment them down below and I'm also going to be posting one of the stories with the question sticker on my Instagram so make sure you follow my Instagram from the description box as well if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see make sure to comment them down below as well and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful see you in the next video bye